is up. Welcome back. We have another super easy laser craft that sells really well. This was a patron request. They requested to be able to wrap text inside of an object, like a heart or a guitar. So we're gonna do two versions. We're gonna do an easy version and a little more advanced version. We just missed Valentine's Day, but guess what's right around the corner? Wedding season. And a gift like this is perfect for a wedding, really a birthday, any occasion. But if you can personalize it, especially if you know what maybe their first dance song is gonna be, this is a great personalized gift. Our materials are gonna be about $5 and I've seen these going for the small ones anywhere from 30 to $50. So you can take this gift from any range. You can make it affordable with affordable materials, or you can upscale this to using something like some hardwoods and really make this somewhere in that $100, $150 range. Step one, we're gonna gather all of our supplies. We're gonna use some quarter inch MDF Spray paint. I'm gonna use some Foxy Hughes paints to paint our boards. We're gonna do a little pre-painting. We're gonna use the Starbond Thick for assembly. And some 12 inch masking tape. Step two, we're gonna make our design. We're gonna grab some objects from Canva and then we're gonna use that wrap text feature over in Adobe Illustrator. We will start in Canva, we'll grab some clip art. I know what I wanna do with these two. And Kim wants something in a heart. We'll export this and import it into Adobe Illustrator. We'll start with this heart over here. We're gonna add some lyrics. We'll go back and grab the lyrics. We'll say copy. We'll paste it into Notepad. I like Notepad because it takes out all of the formatting. Now I wanna make all of these like one continuous line. So I'm gonna grab right behind the B and try to grab this carriage return. Now I'm gonna go edit, replace. Now see this blinking little thing here? It says I got my carriage return, so I do have it. I'm gonna replace that carriage return with dot, 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 space. I just feel like that feels songy, right? Replace. There, now all of my text is on one line. I'm gonna grab all of my text copy. Back into Illustrator. Here's my heart. How big do you want this thing? I don't know now. I'd have to see. All right. Well, let's start. I'm going to go over to my type tool. 10 inches. Hold down the little triangle. Select area type tool. Now I have a little circle next to my cursor. I'm going to click on the path and it'll fill it with all that lorem ipsum stuff. I'm just going to paste control V go back to my select tool and now I can start messing with the font and filling in this heart so oh yeah you wanted what kind of font was it dancing dancing script, script. Mm -hmm. yeah now let's start playing with the font Zoom in. Now I want this to be justified all lines. Um, really fills it in. Yes. Yep. And now I can even go up here and select area type tools and actually adjust. I can make it multiple columns, oh, multiple rows. Up. Yep. <laughs> My broken heart. Oh, multiple rows. That's good. When I was looking for these, they had different titles, like right in the middle. So oh, yeah. That would be good. That'd be a good one. And then I can control the spacing or the span between them. Okay. I love it. We can do inset. We don't need an inset for this, though. I feel like we're missing the last few words. I'm going to bring the letters in a little bit. Uh, looks like we're still missing some some letters. See that OO? I think if we could stop at U or OO would be. Yeah, I was gonna say you can take out OO. Well, it leaves just an O. One O O. Yeah, I'll just. It's good enough. I don't think anybody's gonna read all of the lyrics. All right, let's give this thing a title. We'll go back to the type tool the regular type tool. 
and we'll say all of me. We'll hold shift and drag it out. And this is actually going to be Andrea. Is that what it is? Mm -hmm. Bella Rosa. That's a little big. Hold shift and drag it down. Copy paste. Now down here, this is gonna be about me and you, Kim. <laughs> Kim and Garrett. That's a big, it's a biggie. Let's shrink this a little bit. Bring us together. It's about bringing us together. <laughs> All right, we'll center all of these guys. Center. Probably move this one up. Hold shift. What do you think? Yeah, I like Looks it. Looks good. All right, let's grab all of this and we'll say Control X. I already have a background ready. I'm gonna paste it on here. All right, I'll have to adjust the frame, but let's go do the other one. The other one is gonna be fun. All right, let's start by making my guitar sideways and how big do i want this thing right now we'll just say like 17 inches wide mm -hmm. all right let's zoom in now i already got a song ready so i know i'm gonna want these three little birds over here so i'm gonna shrink them down i think we can get them on here all right they can sit up on these little keys these little guitar things i don't need this uh branch that they're on so i'm gonna go to my erase tool and we'll erase this erase this branch doesn't need to be perfect they're about to be glued to the guitar all right let's bring these guys down my little ooh, my three little birds oh, so cute all right let me grab these guys and this we're gonna unite unite all right now i'm gonna make a copy of this thing what's on this layer this is the only thing on this layer i'm gonna duplicate layer one i'm gonna hide layer one now I'm gonna mess with layer two, or copy of layer one. I'm gonna draw a square or a rectangle on layer one. Make sure layer one is selected. I'm gonna detach this handle, because I wanna use this handle for something else. Let's turn this a different color so I can tell them apart. Drag in a color palette. We're gonna make it blue. All right, I'm gonna grab the guitar and this part. I'm gonna go over to my Pathfinder. If I have to, I go to my Pathfinder by Window, Pathfinder, and then I'm gonna select Divide. I'm gonna ungroup these, and then I can remove this piece, this piece, and now my handle is separate. Control Z to put it back. All right, now it's time to add some lyrics to my guitar, and then I'm gonna add the title inside the handle. But first, let me drag this handle in a little bit. To do that, I'm gonna take my pen tool. With this piece selected, I'm gonna hold control, grab this anchor point, start to drag it and hold shift. That'll keep it on its path. And I'm gonna do the same down here. So it's about even, there we go. All right, let's go get my lyrics. I already went and found them. I'm trying to make it easy. Over here, I'm gonna use the type tool. I'm gonna to use the area type tool one more time. I'm gonna to try to do it inside the guitar. I can't do it inside the guitar. This is a compound path, which means it's got shapes inside it. So I'm gonna to need to release this thing, but I'm gonna get lost if I keep it black. So I'll make it green. And now I'm gonna to go to release, which releases all the objects. So now this is solid and I have the other objects that are inside still out here. We'll go Control Z, Control Z, Control Z. Back to my type tool. I'm gonna click on it. Now I can put my, my text in here. So let's paste my text in. That looks like a mess. I'm gonna bring it way down and I'm gonna use a different font. This one looks fun. Just give me something to start with because I still have, now it's gonna go through these pieces here. And if I hide these green pieces, it's gonna look weird. All right. Let me group them. Oh, that's my handle. Here's my green pieces. See, it's gonna write through everything. I don't want that. Let's make a copy of the handle. Control C, Control V to paste in place. I'm gonna grab that and my 
green pieces, and then I'm going to select my text. I'm going to go Object, Text Wrap, Make. Yes. So now it goes around all of these pieces. But now these pieces are still in the way. So I'm going to group these pieces. Group. And inside this group, I'm going to take the handle and the green. I'm going to get rid of the fill. There. Now back to the text. Inside this, I'm going to bring the line spacing down. I'm just going to play with these controls until it looks like it's in the shape of a guitar. Looks good enough, right? Mm -hmm. All right, now for the handle. This handle is not inside this group, so I can hide this group. So let's get the title in here. I'm going to go back to my text tool, my regular type tool. I'm going to type out three little birds. I'm going to hold shift and drag a corner. I'm going to line it up inside this handle here, or where this handle will be, over to my over to my layers, I'm going to drag the handle above my three little birds. I'm going to grab both of these. Go over to Object, Envelope Distort, Make with Top Object. There are now three little birds is in the shape of the handle. And everything goes around it. Let's bring back layer one. Well, let's group everything here. So everything's ungrouped. Group. Bring back layer one. We're going to get rid of the fill. And we're going to make it a cut line. So now it should cut out my guitar. Actually, I don't want all these cut lines. I don't want it to cut out the strings and stuff. I'm going to select the group. I'm going to unite everything. Actually, I'm just going to delete everything inside. There, now I should just have my outline. Release. There, now I have an outline. Let's take this whole thing. Copy. And we'll put it on this background. Hold shift, make it a little bit smaller. Let's take this back layer and make it off away for now. All right, what do you think, Kim? You ready? Yeah. I'm going to turn these two files into cut files. But if you like this type of content, you should join us over on Patreon, where once a month we have a more in-depth class on how to do things just like this. Step three, we're going to make all of our cuts. But first, we're gonna do some pre-painting prep work. We're gonna paint our boards, make sure it's really dry, then we're gonna mask it off before we do any engraving. That way we'll be able to have two colors. All right, paint me, babe. Give me the squirts. <laughs> I meant paint. All right, you've got paint in that ruler, so I don't think we need a ton. Oh, yeah, this roller is already feeling sloppy. Sloppy roller. Ooh, I'm just kind of pushing it around. You got the tiniest handle. I like them small, Kim. <laughs> it's about the control. It's not about the size, Kim, it's about the control. <laughs> we were talking earlier about our wedding song. We were gonna put that in our intro, but neither of us can remember our wedding so song. Long ago. I've got to go back and find a video so that I can tell you how many of you guys that have been married for a while can remember what your first dance was. I bet everybody, Just, I bet everybody but us can remember. Can you remember your wedding song? Let us know what your wedding song was down below. Yeah, I, I tried. I cannot remember. I know. I texted I, the kids. So I was like, two in the moment. We were married ten years ago, so it wasn't even that long ago. But I texted some of our kids and said, "Okay, who remembers?" The first song we danced to. <laughs> I hope we get an answer. Oh, I don't know. Okay, now that the paint is dry, dry, we're gonna mask it off. We're gonna use this 12 inch masking tape, mainly so that that smoke and the char doesn't then stick on top of the paint. Hopefully this will collect all the char and we'll be good to go. If you do get some of that char on your paint, you can always use something like a baby wipe or magic a magic eraser. eraser. Yeah, that's Garrett's go-to. Do you want my help? No? Mm -hmm. I have to stick my whole arm in there. That's how I do it. Mm -hmm. I used to use my masculine forearms. <laughs> <laughs> Now you might think that this is not sticking at first. 
but that's because you have to burnish it or use a little. Yes. Yes. Yeah, I'm gonna start that. I'm start yes. that. See, it looks like it's not sticking, but once you use this to push it down, it does a great job of sticking to the wood. And the more dry your paint is, again, the better it will stick. So make sure your paint is really dry and there's no moisture that will get between this and the paint. Now that our boards are all masked off, we're gonna take these over to our Aeon Nova 14 laser and cut everything out. Let's import our artwork into Lightburn. We're gonna start with the heart. The red lines are for cut. The black lines are for engrave or fill. And with that, we're not going to use air assist. So we're gonna select our design and send it to the laser. spray paint and then remove the masking. Right, before we actually remove the masking, it's very tempting to want to see how it looks, but don't remove it yet. Don't touch it. <laughs> These are gonna look a little bit nicer if you spray paint this masking so that the black spray paint gets into the engraving before you remove the masking. It's gonna just give it a little bit nicer contrast between the engrave and the backer. Now that everything is dry from the black spray paint, we're gonna remove all of the masking. And we'll start with the big pieces, and then we'll work our way to all the tiny pieces. But we have a trick, we have a trick for the tiny pieces. If you haven't seen this little like duct tape trick, give it a try. Oh, this is a Gorilla Tape. Serious yeah. business. Don't pull the paint off. This is looking beautiful. I can't wait to show you a close up of how detailed this is. I did that first bit of tape pulled off some of the paint, so I found the dab method worked better. So I'm just gonna put one, I'm gonna use one of these little micro Q-tips and just put a little dab of paint back on there. And that is it. Oh, that looks perfect. Kim thinks my guitar is gonna get lost against my subway tile. Ooh, I might have to put it in there crooked. So she had me paint a test piece, we did the back. We did it in that color change paint. Now she wants me to paint the subway tile. What do you think? Should I paint the subway tile like this color change paint or keep it white? I probably should have painted the guitar the color change paint. What yeah. do you guys think? I think that's too boring. Now you need something else on there. Maybe. That's too busy. And that's a little too busy. I don't know where we're gonna go. Let's just finish it like that. We're finishing it like this. Step five, we're gonna bring it all together. A little bit of Starbond thick. We're gonna glue our frames on and then I'm gonna glue my guitar down. So the great thing about this one, it's just super easy. All we're gonna do is put this frame on the outside edges and then it is complete. So let's see how this looks. <laughs> 